Most human beings seem to themselves as something separate from the rest. This is actually one conscious, one uh, optional delusion of consciousness. An illusion that is so full with dogma. This far from it all, from the reality. We be not apart from nature. We live not on one image of fantasy light. And our actions affect the world around us. If it be a bee that pollinates some flowers or other pollinators by butterflies. Parcels. And etc. We're being a uh, bunch of fetal plant. I'll be responsible for around something like 60% around 50% uh, to 70% of all the oxygen on the earth. Without there is no life possible on earth without fetal plant on tiny marine plant. That's grow on the, on the surface of the water, on the Ipopin zone, on the Europa Europe zone of the sea. This little insect, this little uh, plant, cannot so good uh, making um, Toxic sea, and because of the growth of uh, industrialized and fishing operations of humans, the phytoplankton population is decreased with around something like 40 percent in the last 50 to 60 years, actually, since the industrialized. Revolution since the time of the baby bombs starts. A long time of the human history, nature have, can absorb a lot of our stupidity and a lot of our arrogance. This has made us arrogant. Think that we don't get destroyed, it's something that we don't get destroyed. Go farther and further in the rabbit hole with gold himself, industrialized farm, factory farms, loot, X amount of areas of water. One general big factory farm creates something like 50,000 pounds of man of a month. Any uh, second, uh, go to the waterway and pollute the seas, the rivers, bring life to a uh, toxic green algae that have been actually uh, toxic plants that's been disturbed to many of your life. This one sign for a lot of uh, environmental. That water is uh, the water quality of an area is not so great if you see green algae in some place because this only happens when we have too, too much of acidity in an area. Humans are so gullible. Have you once heard that um, there is something a new salmonella problem? Uh, 
with the crunch. No, this is just one PR, one social relation, lullaby story. Let I remind you of the one and only form of summer now. Maybe orange, summer now. Shit. Human shit or animal shit. Spinach, tomatoes, and other plant products don't shit. That's a level of the meat eating society. Why? Because meat eating societies want to have tons of uh, an animals to eat. These animals shit in the waterway and spread the shit in the waterway, create uh, ocean dead zones. Um, the shit go also into the crops because we have too much shit and the over fermentize the. Uh, Crops. It's really it's some manella. And it's also what we don't have to. We don't have to over fermentize crops. We can also have them not a bit of normal moments. Only then we have now. That's the scandal of the meat dairy neck industry also. Think about it. Think you actually that there are tons and tons of manure to uh, produce plant products? No, a little bit uh, amounts that humans themselves produce can be easily enough to uh, Fernatite uh, crops. Also, think about this. That's the, also the reason that they're saying it. The only reason that farmers say that because there's also some social relation talk. Because medium societies have a lot of shit that tells to uh, their farmer, to their people of the country that that uh, plants grow or vegetables have to have a lot of uh, manure to fertilize the crops. Now, also uh, animal agriculture take a lot of uh, root. The uh, amount of room that take space that can take to feed set around something like uh, twenty vegans, you have uh, say, you can feed on the same part of ground only one meat eater. That's how much it costs to produce animal products. Around uh, 60 pounds of plant products, soy, mice, uh, corn, uh, wheat, etc. to produce one pound of animal flesh. It costs also around something like uh, 2,500 2, gallons of water. It also costs around something like um, 80 kilogram of uh, CO2 in form of metal. Also, it costs 5.5 feet of rainforest. Do the map. You don't have to be Einstein to figure out this conclusion that animal agriculture is the most biggest threat to the environment, to animals, and to humans, to anything on the planet. That's pure logic. 
and in clubs where I looked for misinformation to meet there with egg industry. And there are so out doctors and dietitians. I'll only get uh, something like four hours nutritional training in there. Five to six to uh, eight years study. And uh, human animals are for hundred percent herbivore. Anatomical and physiological. If you go over on the side and grit, if you sweat to your pores and cool yourself down. If you um, do not so, see so well in the dark, all signs that you've been or carnivore animals can see um, perfect in the dark. Carnivore animals also have no analyze in their slime up to digest starch. There are but enzymes who are proteins. And fans. They're not, there are not amylases in their slime to digest high starchy um, products and fruits. Animal products have also no vitamin or mineral that you might need that you not can find in any other product. And they say, ah, vitamin B12! Vitamin B12 is one fight is one bacteria that naturally live in the mouth and intestines of all humans. Vitamin B12 can people can have a digestive problem with their not can why can they not digest their and synthesize their own vitamin B12. But vitamin B12 is not always a problem on its own. Vitamin B12, um, if, you can also have some, uh, this, you also can have a problem, uh, problem uh, some disease, where you have, you have more vitamin B12 than your body can make. But the kind of things are actually extremely small. The majority of humans if they are not eat a lot of products that uh, block the sanitation of vitamin B12, can uh, digest, can make, the, can make it themselves. And there is yes, some theories that some from well, some scientists in the past that have said that. The vitamin B12 is not set aside in the a part of the uh, cut but it can absorb it. But uh, why if we, as a, if a vitamin B12 is one, why you think that vitamin B12 is one big issue when around something like 40% of all the American population have a vitamin B12 deficiency. If only 1%, only 2%, one, uh, yes, only 2% of the US population have a vitamin B12, uh, I have a big vegan actually. How can that be a vegan issue then? I see. The lies are there. The propaganda is everywhere. Also, uh, vitamin B12 also live in uh, water, in natural water, water pots, rivers. It's also a place where animals in nature get their vitamin B12 from. It comes also in dirt, in a shit of uh, animals. There you can also can get uh, vitamin B12. Also, from you eat um, some blueberries on West 
worse on blueberries, organic on my feelings, blueberries, or blackberries, or any very kind. Most likely, you have uh, also get some vitamin B12. Because vitamin B12 with issues, not only in our business. This old myth from the military and egg industry. And if you then say uh, vitamin D, vitamin D comes from sun, baby. Vitamin D. Most people get the other vitamin D from the sun. Also, uh, vitamin D is also subsidized in the Western world, um, in a lot of products. Actually, in uh, soy milk, onion milk, or rice milk, most of the vegan milk, there are also vitamin B12 subsidized in this damage. And, uh, just like uh, by the meat eaters. In your products, there will be also uh, put it extra to it. Uh, in, by milk of cows, breastfeeding of cows, there are also uh, have um, this substitute vitamin D. Also, uh, cows been also injected by. The farmer with uh, vitamin B12. Which, uh, you don't have to believe me on my words. And I know this is a controversial topic, but I, if it uh, comes to vitamin B12, if you have a doctor, you know, doctor or say that you have to take vitamin B12, do it. I only want to give you some information that can. Spare some uh, medical care. Even if I be, even that I be not opposed to most of the vitamins and drug store industry, I be not one uh, anti vitamins supplement supplement uh, and pharmaceutical activist. I be an anti animal cruelty and anti environmental destruction activist. I've been not uh, I've been not the health police. 